I'm always referring to jumping your pressure switch on. And when you're trying to fix your furnace and you think it might be the, the pressure switch, your inducer comes on, and then your switch needs to go, and then your igniter comes on. You're in that area that you think it might be a switch. And I'm always talking about jump the switch on when people ask me about if it's this or not. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to, we're going to jump that switch on. So the first thing that needs to happen is this inducer needs to come on. And we'll pull our wires off. I just have a piece of wire here, 12 gauge, and I'll jump that out. So we've now jumped our pressure switch out. And you can see we have the light comes on, and we'll have it just, there we go. So that's how, that's how I do it. And then, disconnect it, it goes off. But if you're at that point, and you do that, you jump your switch out, and your furnace fires up, you're in a pretty good place to go ahead and fix your furnace, and you'll feel pretty good about it, because your furnace is back on again. Now, if you do that, and your furnace comes on, it's not always that switch that's bad. Usually, but not always. Uh, what, one thing to look for, if you do that and your furnace comes on and everything, is look at your drain lines. Disconnect your drain lines. Make sure that your drains are open. Because that can do it too. Also, another thing to do is um, make sure this line here that goes to your switch, make sure there's no water in there. And you can take that off of there and, uh, and blow it out. Make sure you get all the water out of that. Another thing you can do is you can follow our, our inducer fan here. This is where it gets rid of the combustion. You can disconnect that and see if you have a blockage in your line. That will also do it too. Well now of course you have to rehook that back up. I don't want to know again if you have not, because they disconnected that. So that is just a test if you knew that. So, you know, make sure your line's clean. Check your drain lines. Look for blockages. And usually, um, if that's okay, you can take a good guess that your your switch is going to be bad. And you can order one of them and... and um, replace it. Now if you check all that, everything works out, your drains are good, your, you have your exhaust hooked up and everything and all that, you can throw your furnace up, jump that out, and run it through a cycle to warm your home up. So, let's do that one more time here. Disconnect your wires. I have a jumper wire here. Get our fan running, and then we jump it on. You can also use a paper clip. This is low voltage, so it's not going to, you know, shock you hard. We have ignition, or we have our low coil, and it lights up. Let's go try again. And you can see that I have the switch disconnected, and we had our, our um, low coil come on, so... I usually like to jump them switches out and see what's going on there. Let's do the other one.
Let's see if that comes on. Alright, let's try it again. Jump the second one out here. And there we go. Alright. That's a little bit about jumping your pressure switches on to see if you can get your furnace to come on. Thanks for watching. And hopefully that helps you out a little bit.